Hey everybody, uh, it's Blake Spears and we're a little bit into Panic Restaurant, which is a Tato game from 1992. I chose this game because um, I played it when I was, I didn't play it when I was a kid. And I was big in Nintendo, I played a lot of the great Nintendo games. And I, I put it upon myself as a challenge and as a joy to try all the great platformers. I do love platform gaming and I love games that have unique things. This one's really unique. Uh, his name in Japan or it translates more to odor or d'oeuvre, so it's a cooking place thing where he's stolen. This bad guy has stolen my restaurant, so I have to go and uh, fight through a variety of levels uh, in order to get back my restaurant. He seems to have also somehow enchanted the restaurant so that it's um, it's all the all the the food has come to life and become evil somehow. But basically, it's a it's a game and it's got some really unique uh, mechanics, really st st stuff that I love in a game like. It's got these collectible coins that do not directly end up, end up in an extra life. You'll see what they're for. Um, it's also got really smooth, buttery controls. I mean, it's just fun to play overall. You just jump in, and you press a few buttons, and you're ready to go. And this is this is crazy. There are uh, carrot monsters. There are chickens. Um, that, that uh, I don't know who does the makeup for those chickens, or those, those carrots, rather. I'm not sure. Power-up item. You can get a variety of weapons in this game, and they're all cooking-based. It's kind of a cool concept. Look at this terrible wallpaper in this place. Why does hors d'oeuvre even want your restaurant? Um, there's a hot dog that clearly got here from Burger Time. Oh no! He's kind of, he really looks just like he's having a weird day. He's like, oh, I'm jumping! He actually looks absolutely surprised that he's been jumping. He's just sort of going, oh, I can jump? Who can know? Okay, this is great. This is how you know that you're in a, a good game. The level's short. It was interesting, it set up the, the process, and we've already at uh, the first box, like that's cool. I think that's cool. I like games that have limited bosses. The only thing is that the boss looks a lot like, I don't know, the way he was drawn just looks, and animated, just looks like sort of they did it in five minutes. But it's great, you go through the first stage, uh, nice, clear, good old plinglish. Uh, this, so this is um, uh, a slot machine game. I used to try and conserve my coins in case they were useful, but having played through it a bit, I realized that you just, you really just want to spend all your money as quick as you can, um, and so that you can get a chance of getting some, one of the many power-ups, because uh, a lot of your, there's, there's no reason to save your coins, basically, as it turns out. I thought you'd have to conserve them, and that would make sense, but really, you're only gonna get one match anytime you do this. Oh, I got two matches. I, I, but I said immediately became untrue, and yet I won both prizes, so it's fine. But there's all kinds of power-ups and stuff you can gain. You can gain through this process, and they really become essential as you play through the game. Uh, a few extra lives, a few extra power-ups. I'd like to have a bit more life. That would be nice. But I like it's the screen opens up with like a menu. Like uh, the menu screen is literally a menu. There's a bit of your uh, pudding. You, can't have your meat unless you have your pudding. I don't know the original quote. I just know that was quoted for something. Nice, nice, n really nice enemy design, um, and some some nifty animations and drawings. Like the the pizzas don't take a lot of animation skill to, to make. Uh, there's some they're good pixel art throughout though, and I like this thing. It's just like why does he have a apparently skull or teeth based uh, elevator in his restaurant? Remember. It was like this, I mean, if you think about how terribly organized this restaurant is, how do they even get patrons? A little bit of a mini-game area here, we can get some more points, as far as I can tell. And I don't really know what points are for, maybe they give you extra lives. Uh, this one's, CATCH THE FISH! Gonna get a myself some fish! Gonna catch myself some of them fisheroos! Yes sir, Bob! Those fish, of course, look horribly stunned. And of course, the evil fish are black. Why it all got to be about race, I don't know. It's all this kind of race thing that's... Basically, they're, they're, they're trying to install the race war. This game's made in Japan. You know how they feel about black people. Also, black is universally the son of evil, even among... I don't know why I went there. I don't know why it was necessary. But that fish looks so cute. Mm, such a cute little pink fish. Can't even see the thing. There you go. Got the thing. I love these onions things. They're... Uh, this, the onions, actually, and the apples, both... It's kind of unfortunate they put them both in the same... Um, area because they essentially do the same thing they kind of break apart into pieces and maybe that's the concept for the stage if there was a weakness with this game oops i would say the, that while each stage definitely has a real um theme to it um and the enemies somewhat reflect that 
the gameplay really doesn't change throughout the game. Um, what, and what the fuck is wrong with the back of his head? What is that? I, I can't even tell. Also, this restaurant has uh, slightly repetitive artwork, like any real good restaurant does. Most things shoot lightning for some reason, I guess because they're electrical outlets. No explanation necessary, it's video game logic. I don't know why I gotta go into all the details of how a video game works. We all know that there's crazy things that people thought up in their uh, psychotropic nightmares. But seriously, what's wrong with his head? Like, what What's going on in the back there? Is there supposed to be hair coming up? It's just going back and forth. It looks like there's like another person looking down. And oh my god. Oh my god, the hat has eyes and a little little boring ass mouth. Alright, I definitely need the candy here. In a world where you're it's a it's a chef based world and everything's cooking based, why your uh, healing items specifically has to be candy, I think if I were a chef, I'd be I'd I'd want to have something a little I love that guys just keep dragging along. Like, once you kill them, he basically abandons all hope for his life. He's got nothing left to live for. He just kind of drifts along. This thing just seems to be a pot lid, and there you go. I'm invincible. I'm not sure that... I, I, I've played a couple levels with the invincibility thing on. I'm really not sure if it... It's not a very interesting thing. Okay, I don't want to land on the pudding, because then I'll lose my item. Oh, wait. I can lose my item immediately. Good, good. When you die, you lose your items. The items don't stack, which is fine because the, the each weapon is completely unique from the last. Um, shit, shit, I don't want to walk into the puddings. I love their little jiggle though. Jiggly jiggly jig. Jiggly jig. Jiggly jig. Jiggly jig. Jiggly jig. Jiggly jig. Somebody has like a, a problem with apples. Apple the Iggy's mother will let them fucking explode! Pizza. I like the rolling pizzas. And that, there should be a guy throwing them though. That would really, that would really sell it to me. Like a, I don't know. Maybe since everything's food, that doesn't make sense. But it really seems like it, it's it's lacking a bit of a Donkey Kong figure to toss them. Oh, I'm gonna bat away that apple. That's a bad app, bad apple. Ha! I'm gonna bat that apple out of hell. No, that doesn't make sense. Shouldn't have gone there. Shouldn't have said it. Oh, strike me down. If you're wondering why I'm not doing this with my brother today. He's just not here. Don't. It doesn't mean anything. It's not a serious thing. Okay. This is, this is another. This is a crazy boss. This is really the definition of crazy boss. It's a microwave that shoots roasted chickens. I mean, I wish I could have a wittier comment than that. But when you've got a microwave that shoots roasted chickens, do you need anything else? <laughs> and then the chickens go up into heaven. Which they're clearly already dead at the point when they get put into the microwave, but I'll let it, I'll let it slide. Most restaurants do not have microwaves, having worked in a few. I mean, some of them do, I guess, but they consider it for poor form where you have to microwave anything. There we go. Getting my coins on. Again, the coins serve no purpose other than this bonus game, so you may as well throw them in when you get the chance. There you go. Maximum life. Not doing too bad. I've got my left four. And I got something there. Oh, I gotta, gotta recharge that. You know what? I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna do just a couple more of these and then move on. Because actually, I'm pretty much as powerful as I can be. The only thing that would help me now would be a couple of those one-ups. And I don't even think they'd help me. I'll just do uh, one more and I'll save the coins. Whatever. If I die, I lose my coins. But you know what? Uh, I don't need anything else. Essentially. Then again, if I, as long as I keep going, I won't lose my... There we go. That was worth it. Got a couple. Got an extra life. It looks like a two-up with the, with the frame as it is, but it's it's not. There you go. Myself. I do like the menu and like it's really nicely drawn, and I, and the levels all have volleyball themes. And this is a game that as far I'm in case you haven't noticed, in case you don't know, um, I'm I I'm been I'm welcome to my let's play guys. Let's take a look and see how much time we're in. I said welcome a little bit prematurely. We've got another minute or so I'm on my timer, so um, I may as well end the episode with something positive to say. Uh, really, this is a fun game, and you owe it to yourself to try it out if you can. Um, it's um, Panic Restaurant. You can. It's an old game, of course. You can find. I'm not sure if it's available from the uh, we the the the. 
virtual console, but certainly it is available um, at your local game store from in the discount package probably because although I think it's rare, it's probably not technically rare. Well, what do I know? Maybe it costs hundreds of dollars. I just happen to have a copy here to play, but if you do get a chance to try it out, the levels are pretty cool and pretty unique and while I wouldn't say that the gameplay is as unique as as a lot of other really good old platformers. Certainly there's a lot of worse platformers than this that I spent way more time on than Panic Restaurant. So um, I have to say that it's definitely worth a try. Uh, check out Panic Restaurant and uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more Let's Play, um, not now, but uh, next chance I get. So yeah, see you again next time guys on the Super Spears Brothers. Maybe my brother will be along for the ride next time. He looks very angry while he's hopping on his fork. <laughs>